if all corporations did what you guys are doing, it would seem to disrupt the central banks, which in fact would then help Bitcoin. Is there a virtuous cycle here? Should central banks take a more politicized stance and do this for that reason as a way to get rid of possibly the greatest threat we have, and that is the central banks? And I'm tacitly having you agree with this thought, quite unfairly, with this question. Uh, however, I think you see what I'm, I'm driving at. Is there a political angle to this at all? Are, are you allowed to say that? I think we can all go forward constructively together. <laughs> and Look, Ray Dalio says he'd rather own Bitcoin than a bond. There's a hundred trillion in bonds. That was a big statement that he made just a week ago. Right. Corporate treasuries are holding bonds. As people rotate bonds and cash into Bitcoin, price discovery will return to bonds, and that means that you can buy an annuity for a fair price, and that's good for the world. It would be good to be able to buy a bond that had a good annuity stream. I think the price discovery will return to stocks, and you'll be able to buy a stock that pays a decent dividend that's less risky, and that will be good for the world. I think that you'll be able to buy, if we, if we're able, if we demonetize residential real estate, you'll be able to buy a house at half the price that's twice as good. That'll be good to the world. And so I think that the virtuous cycle is Bitcoin is demonetizing gold. Your jewelry will be twice as good, half as expensive. Is demonetizing real estate. Your house will be twice as big, half as expensive. Is demonetizing debt. You will be able to buy an annuity that yields 8% interest with no risk is demonetizing equity and ETFs. You'll be able to invest in a company and not pay 50 times revenue and take a risk. You'll be able to invest reasonably. And so Bitcoin fixes everything. And, and it fixes... Yeah. And, and if you wish me to make a political statement, the political statement would be, it fixes governments because as it fixes everything else, governments act rationally. And right now, you can see governments acting rationally, right? In weak countries, their currency collapses to zero, and they have to adopt a new currency. Right now, they're adopting the dollar. I see a world where 8 billion people have a mobile device, and they have a digital wallet, and they have a, current, a digital currency like a dollar or a euro, and then they have a digital asset, Bitcoin. And Bitcoin links together 8 billion people, links together 100 million companies, it synchronizes the world across political jurisdiction, and it returns rationality to the entire financial system, and it returns freedom and property rights to the human race.